Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. This is episode number 620. And today we're going to answer a question from Phil, KG4ODH. Okay, and he has a question about a, an antenna installation that he's looking at for his uh, cabin, I think, in, where was it, uh, North Carolina. Um, in a, yeah, beautiful place where he's got some mountains and things like that. Um, I would like to remind you, uh, before we go on, just take a quick minute, remind you to subscribe. Uh, YouTube uses the number of subscriptions as an indicator of how much people like the video and how much it's referred. So please subscribe, click like, and click the bell. Now let's take a look at this antenna situation that he's got. He's, he wants to put in an inverted V, which is a fine idea. And I'm just going to draw this in a plan view. So we're looking down. He's got a tree over here and a tree over here. Okay, and he's got a balcony or a deck or something. And he's going to attach his mast right here. Now, a mast is the pole that holds it up. If you take uh, two sections of chain link fence, chain link fence, top rail, you can get a nice 20 foot pole like that. Okay, these are slightly downhill, I think, if I read his uh, thing right. Now he's going to put his dipole, instead of straight like this, he's going to have it to a tree and then to a tree. And this will be about 135 degrees. And his question is, will that work? The answer is yes, of course it will. Uh, he says part of the antenna will come over a metal roof and that's okay. Now, remember rule number one of antennas is that everything affects everything. So, of course, this will affect it. Now, with this, you are starting to approach a type of antenna that will mostly radiate this way. Okay. And uh, there's a name for these antennas. Um, it's like a half a rhombic, a little V antenna. Um, because it's out that way. So you'll tend to slightly favor that direction. Now, will you still get uh, something this way? Yes, if we were to draw the little uh, diagram, this is a diagram looking at the lobe this way versus the lobe this way. You see that this lobe which is this lobe here, is much larger, okay? And of course you lose a little bit, but not too much off the ends here. So will this antenna work? Uh, yes, Phil, it will, and it worked very well. Um, and uh, I think that's a great way to put up an antenna at your uh, mountain retreat. And I think the antenna will work just fine. So there you have it. The giveaway for the month of January um, 2022, uh, and this, your entry must be in by the fourth, I'm sorry, last Thursday of the month, because that's when I do a live stream. This is one of those little emergency radios where you can hand crank it, okay, like this, and uh, it's got a little solar thing, so you can leave it in the sun. It's got a flashlight uh, that uh, makes a little light. Um, you can put in um, here to, uh, if you want, to put a, a, use this to charge your phone um, or to put music into, play music from memory cards or something. This is power on and off, a little volume control there. 
and this switch down here in the bottom. This thing comes with its little case. It comes with a um, USB uh, port that can be used in a variety of ways and it comes with instructions. So this is our giveaway for uh, the month of, no of January 2021 and we will give that away. Now let's talk about how you enter. You send uh, to me via snail mail to Dave Kassler, KE0OG, PO Box 98, Ridgeway, Colorado, 81432. And you put the giveaway number on there, which is number six. And um, your shipping address to which you would like it shipped, your name and call sign, and your phone number. And that way I can call you if I've got any questions interpreting your card. Okay, so have at it. And until we next meet, 73.